darlings, this is Mrs. Welch from the Chester Andover Elementary School Library, and I have a book for you. It's called The Imposter. Now, if you don't know what imposter is, it's somebody who pretends to be somebody else. And in this case, we have a skunk. Oh, heavens to Murgatroyd. Skunk had been alone forever, and he did not like it. Sometimes he wished he were a dog. Everyone loves dogs. And he couldn't shake the feeling he was meant to be loved to. Some animals have it all. Bonk. Others don't realize how lucky they are. So if you can't see it, this says missing and it's a picture of a dog named Max. Silly Max, who'd run away from a family skunk wondered. But it gave him an idea. Max, how hard could it be? Woof, woof, woof. I'm Max, the missing dog. Woof, woof, woof. Um, ha, you don't look anything like Max. Oh. That skunk is pretending to be Max. Who would ever want to be a dog? It's better than being a skunk. Although, with some help, I bet he could pull it off. True. <clears throat> Pardon me, but I bet you three are very clever. Could you help me become Max? We are very clever. If we help, what's in it for us? Bragging rights? Stunt like this would be pretty epic. All right, we'll help, but you'll have to listen to everything we say. I would have done it for a slice of pizza. Skunk would have done anything if it meant finally getting a family of his own. Here we go. Raccoon, squirrel, and cat got to work. This skunk stripe has got to go. An old sock, glove, belt, and earrings will do the trick. Perfect. Now that you look like Max, you need to act like Max, said Squirrel. Skunk learned how to roll over, bury a bone, and ask for belly rubs. It's all in the eyes, see? Don't forget to wag your tail. Max is always happy, happy, happy. Finally, Skunk was ready. It's showtime. Um, I'm having second thoughts. But we covered everything, Skunk. What could go wrong? It's not that. I just wonder if Max was so happy, why did he run away, Skunk asked. Oh, I doubt he ran away. Max is probably just lost. <gasps> Max is lost? Skunk's heart sunk. Then Skunk started to feel something else. His stomach flipped and flopped. His jaw began to jitter, and he started to sweat. Skunk gulped. He knew this feeling well. Um, hey guys, what's, in there, what's wrong, Skunk? Skunk wiggled and jiggled and scooched in circles. Coming, I don't recall Max doing this. I think you overlooked one very important detail, Skunk cried. He had to get away. But just as he turned to run, hello? The front door swung open and Skunk blew his cover. So he sprang, Skunk spray stinky stuff. Ah! Skunk scurried off. Wait up, Skunk. We can fix your disguise and try again. Yep, until you sprayed Max's family, you were very convincing. In my opinion, m dogs would be much more interesting if they could spray. All I wanted is a family of my own, said Skunk. I don't want to steal one. I need to make this right. I need to find the real Max. This was all about finding a family? Oh, poor Skunk. We can help you, Max. We're great detectives. It'll be epic. 
Skunk and the gang scoured the city for Max. See, they asking the birds and the owls and the rabbit and the mice, and they're saying if they saw them, saw Max. It took some time, but wait up, Max! Skunk got the real Max home to his family. Let's celebrate with pizza. And he finally found a family of his own. This has been Mrs. Welch for the Chester Andover Elementary School Library. We'll see you soon.